Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and in today's video I've got a huge huge treat for you. I've never seen a wonder kid like this. We are of course talking about Yusufa Mukuku in today's video. He is new to the game as of the new update. Honestly this is probably the best wonder kid I've ever seen and I know a lot of you guys usually in these wonder kid videos do skip to the end just to see like what the wonder kid looks like. I would ask if there's ever a time when you're not going to skip through, watch this video at all the different points because the evolution that this guy has, I've never seen anything like it. He is just... It, Honestly, it's insane. I can't wait to show you guys. But before we get into today's video, I have to do all the YouTube stuff and ask you guys if you could smash that like button. It would really mean a lot to us in pushing this video out to more people. And it lets us know that you guys are enjoying the content. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our uploads here on the FM Scout channel. And finally, if you want to comment down below what you think of this Wonder Kid, have you seen better? Who would you say compare to him if there is anyone who you actually think does? And with that being said, let's roll the intro and get straight into looking at this guy. So excited for this. So here he is everybody, Yusuf Amu Kuku in Borussia Dortmund's under-19 team. It's his first time appearing of course, I imagine he's going to be a wonder kid for years to come. But just before we like actually go with the video, I'm just going to set it up and tell you that we're going to be simulating a few years into the future, not just a few years, around 10 years to see how he gets on. We'll look at him at around 15, sometime around 18 as well. Then we'll look at him a bit later down the line and then at the end at 25 years old to see how he has got on in his career. And I can tell you, I have seen the results of this. Oh, it's insane. I can't wait to show you guys. I, I'm so excited for this one. But let's get into the player. Let's have a look at him. He is currently a German international, but I can tell you that that will change later on in the video. So we'll get into that in a minute. But here he is. He is reported to be two stars by the Borussia Dortmund coaching staff with potential to be five stars. But this guy's got so many cool little perks that go alongside the player that he has. It's just so good. And the first one being model citizen personality guys if you don't know this is the best personality that you can get in football manager and will really aid him in his growth to becoming a top player and at only the age of 15 that's really going to serve him well in a really quick growth really early on so that's a great personality to have physically he is really strong for a 15 year old i know you're probably looking at this and not seeing any blue attributes blue for me is 16 plus and thinking that he isn't that good physically but you've got to remember he is only 15 he's still going to develop so much in, especially in the next couple of years physically anyway mentally he is very strong as well for a 15 year old work rate off the ball all at a really strong level but technically guys with 16 dribbling 15 finishing and 15 first touch he's only 15 guys only 15 this is insane decent free kick taker as well good at passing with a nice bit of technique in there too Honestly, he already looks like he's perfectly set up to be a top-level striker. So now we're going to simulate three years until he's 18. He'll have played a few seasons then in the Bundesliga. There are a few rules at the minute where he can't play at certain ages that often. But by the age of 18, he will have had a few full seasons under his belt with some crazy development too. So we're going to go into that now and show you guys how he gets on. But remember, if you are enjoying this, smash the like button. And now let's simulate three years ahead. Okay, here we are, guys. In 2023, Makuku is now 18 years old. I'm going to use this time just to let you guys know that I do have my own channel that there will be a link to in the description where we do some let's play saves we're currently doing a save with Lil it's not long started so if you want to come and check that out that would mean a lot but here we are in 2023 what kind of career has Makuku had so far by the age of 18 well we can see that Bruce Lee Dortmund have won the league the league is being dominated by Erling Haaland and if we look at the tactic that we are playing we're playing a two striker system so Haaland's probably going to be in this role when the assistant manager picks the team but we've made sure Makuku is playing as a pressing forward in this system and here he is guys 18 years old Yusuf Mukuku now playing for the Cameroon international team valued at 60 million pounds only the age of 18 ranked as a four-star player in a Borussia Dortmund side that includes the likes of Erling Haaland and if you don't know star rating is set based on other players of the club so imagining Haaland is probably one of the best players in this Borussia Dortmund team this is saying that Mukuku is at a high enough level that he can be classed up there as one of the most important players in the side aside the likes of Erling Haaland potential still to be five stars so still plenty of room to grow as I've mentioned You'd expect this kind of player at the age of like 29, never mind 18. He's still got like three years of really good growth left. And here he is. He's still model citizen, still a wonder kid. He has grown to five foot ten, which is nice to see. But physically, let's get into physicals first. Impeccable is the only word I can think. I don't see any way that he's really lacking. He is speedy as anything with 16 pace, 16 acceleration, 18 agility. He's going to be turning on people so easily. 16 balance, 14 stamina, 15 strength. He is an absolute unit up front and he's only going to get better at the age of 18. Still plenty of room left to grow. Mentally, he is doing really well too. His individual training has been changed a few times throughout the simulation. I think at the minute he's working on attacking movement. 
to like improve how he is in front of goal. But let's have a look at how he's doing work rate and vision wise. I think he's had a big increase in vision from what I can tell. They're nice little attributes to have as a bonus for a striker, especially considering we're trying to use him as a pressing forward, which probably isn't his best ability. But it's just the fact that it fits into this two striker tactic quite nicely. And as you guys know, we've got a team of Erling Haaland and you kind of have to play Haaland. So we're going to play him both together and that's why he's in the pressing forward role off the ball he has a 16 attribute now which is just superb he's going to be making some really good movement off the ball still 16 determination his decisions are at 14 his concentration is at 14 his composure is 15 he is so talented for his age 16 anticipation too he's going to sweep up any of them little chances that come out to him he's going to be on it 15 technique 14 passing 13 penalty taking 13 long shots, 15 free kicks. This guy can do it all. And then as we saw earlier, he had some really good dribbling, finishing and first touch. It's all gone up now. So he now has 17 dribbling, 16 finishing and 17 first touch. This guy is absolutely superb, everyone. The only cons he has is that he's very one footed and can only play in one position. But let's be honest, he's a striker who we're going to use up front and it doesn't matter if you can only use one foot, if you can absolutely bang goals with it. So let's have a look at how he's done in game. Then we'll have a look at his progress and then simulate a few years ahead. So if you look at how he's actually doing, we can see that this guy who would have only been, what, 16 here, has gone and scored 15 goals in 21 appearances. That's a really good debut season for a 15, 16 year old with four assists, four playover matches and a 7.15 average match rating. And since then, it's just gone up and up. In the second season, he then hit 32 goals in 34 games with a 7.45 average match rating, seven playover matches matches seven assists and then that continues his average rating goes up the next season loses a goal gains an assist lose a few player of match awards but did play less games but he has been absolutely phenomenal and that's only in the league too you've got to consider that probably in european football he's probably banging in some goals too we can see it here my face is in front of exactly where he has scored the goals but there is that but we can see right here that he's played 85 games scored 76 goals with 19 assists it's more than a goal contribution per game and that is absolutely superb for a player who isn't even really in his prime years yet. He's not even developed fully yet. So 18-year-old Yusuf Mukuku looks like this. Let's have a look at how he has gone on in terms of his training. If we go to progress, go to attributes and then go to all time. So this is since he was 15. We can see some crazy growth in his physicals as you would expect in them early years of development. Some really nice mental growth too which is always an added bonus for a young player and then some big improvements in his technical game too including becoming a little bit of a free kick master so he's probably pulling in a few goals from there too so that is him at the age of 18 i'm going to simulate ahead now i'm not sure when we'll show it but he's going to be like just over 20 years old so we're going to simulate to that and see how he's got on interesting that he has changed to cameroon by the way but we will notice that cameroon is currently 31st world ranking as yusuf Mukuku starts to play for him Cameroon fly up the international rankings later on in this simulation so I think Makuku has a lot to do with that. So now let's simulate ahead and see how he's getting on a bit further down the line in his career. And here we are guys, Yusuf Makuku is 20 years old now, he won't dwell on this one too long so we can quickly go ahead to the 23, 24 year old Makuku and not waste too much of your time. But we can see he's had some really big growth since we last saw him, still classed as a model citizen, classed as a four and a half star player now for this Borussia Dortmund team. I think he did pick up an injury at some point, so that might be why. I don't know if this is definite, but off the top of my head, his acceleration has dropped. That's probably why, but his agility has continued to grow to now be at the level of 20. He has 16 strength, 16 stamina, 16 pace, 16 natural fitness. Absolutely crazy numbers. Still doing really well in his mentals too, with really nice off the ball decisions, composure and anticipation. So he's going to know exactly when to finish his chances and exactly how to do them with the technical attributes that he does have with 18 dribbling, 16 finishing, 17 first touch, 16 free kicks on top of that. He can take corners too. He can take penalties. He can pass. He has great technique. He is absolutely perfect. Let's see how he's done in the other two years since we last saw him. So in the next season, after we last saw him, he's played 34 games, scored 34 goals, got a 7.62 average match rating. Then the next season, he didn't perform as well, but still a 7.26 average match rating with a crazy amount of goals. And then this season hasn't gone too well, but this is because Borussia Dortmund haven't really signed anyone. They've started losing players and not signing people. We do fix that eventually. I added a few transfers in here or there to make sure that the team was at a high enough level to challenge with the likes of Mukuku, because if the whole team is falling behind, no one's going to be providing him with chances. So I've made sure that after this point, the team is really up leveled a little bit. And you will see the benefits of that as we go forward. So let's just discount this season a little bit, but he's still doing pretty well. And overall now in his career, he's played 150 games by the age of 20, scored 115 goals, 30 assists and 7.36 average match rating. And that is only the league, of course, guys. And as we did see, he's played 40 games near enough for Cameroon now, scoring 26 goals. And if we have a look at the Cameroon national team, it's slowly climbing up and it is now 21st in the world with Makuku leading the line for them. 
Now we're going to move to the end of the simulation where he's about 24, 25 and see how he has got on by the end of his career and it is absolutely nuts guys. So let's get straight into that and see the kind of player we are looking at. And straight away I've just loaded up the save. Now I have had a look at like his attribute growth. I haven't looked into the exact details of how many goals he scored and this is the first thing that's just smacked me in the face. The fact that Yusuf Makuka is top scorer for Borussia Dortmund this season scoring 84 goals with 21 assists and 8.04 average match rating do let me know in the comments is he the best wonder kid you've ever seen is he going to have this good a career in real life i don't know you do very well too i think genuinely looking at him right here he is competing with like current messi and ronaldo levels and he is only 25 years old physically absolutely impeccable his acceleration has now jumped all the way up to 90 and his personality has dropped but who really cares when he's already developed so well it doesn't matter if he's a model citizen or not because he's already there he's already done the development that he needs to do 19 acceleration with 18 strength 19 agility oh, it's just absolutely insane there is no way that this guy is not the best player that i've ever seen he's lacking in zero areas he, he really just looks like a new cristiano ronaldo might even be a little bit better than him i can't tell yet and bear in mind he's still only 25 years old and that's crazy to me he's still got another 10 years of playing and if you guys want it do let us know in the comment that we were thinking of doing a video where we continue the simulation on see how well he's done by the age of like 35 and see if his career does surpass the likes of Lionel Messi Cristiano Ronaldo can he become the best player the world has ever seen I would suggest with these attributes he probably could guys and he is here with 20 anticipation 19 composure 16 concentrations 19 decisions 16 flair 16 determination 20 off the ball 16 vision really high work rate with great technique great penalties great passing Great long shots, great free kick taking, great first touch, great finishing, great dribbling. I, I There's not much more to say about him really guys. Five star player, absolutely perfect, valued at £82 million, has now scored more goals than appearances for the Cameroon international team, scoring 88 goals in 87 appearances, making Cameroon now the ninth best team in the world. That's got to be the highest African team rating in this current save and yeah it's definitely all down to him we saw that since he's been in the team their growth has been insane what an absolute star this guy's become before we look at how his seasons have gone we're going to look at his attribute growth then we will go on to seasons and then we'll have a look at something we haven't had a look at yet which is like his landmarks and milestones in his career has he won ballon d'ors and all that good stuff so if we go to progress attributes and then go to all time not much more needs to be said i mean it has been 10 years of growth you would expect a big improvement but we can see pretty much everywhere he's flew up there's not really a place where he's lacked other than determination and aggression which we're not too bothered about so even before when we were considering that he might not be able to head the ball he's still now got 12 headings so he's developed in every single area looks absolutely phenomenal he's apparently wanted by Real Madrid he's been wanted by the likes of Real Madrid and Barcelona for a long time but for sure if they came in for him they'd be offering like 200 million pounds so let's go to Makuku and have a look how his last few seasons have been I could be wrong but I think we last saw him around here and since then we can see he's been absolutely superb let's just assume that we had saw him in this season either way you can kind of see the kind of gist of what's going on but if we have a look here upwards from about this season here he's scoring more goals than he is playing games and he's adding a load of assists onto that too up to a point where one season he got 59 goals purely in the league with nine assists and an 8.23 average match rate and so this wasn't even the best season that we've just seen he's been consistently hitting the fact that he's got three where he's hit an eight average rating or more I've never seen anything like this to be honest in all of these growth tests I've done all these wonder kids I've looked at even if this was like a Cristiano Ronaldo this would still be insane numbers and this is just absolutely nuts. I'm not going to go into the exact numbers on every single one, but you guys can see it for yourself. I mean, 16 player of matches in 34 games with 51 goals. Jesus Christ, this guy is good. Now we're going to have a look at his milestones, see how he has got on. Biography-wise, it looks like he's been full of awards. So now we're going to have a look at them individually. So firstly, we'll start off with competitions. I imagine he's won a few Bundesliga leagues, but has he ever won like a Champions League or anything like that? So here we go, Champions Cup runners-up that season. Always win the Bundesliga pretty much. There we go. They won the Champions League that season. They won the Super Cup. This is when he really started to hit his peak. Champions League runners-up that season. He's obviously not going to one-man team it for everyone, but he's pretty much doing that. Another European Champions Cup win there. Some Cup wins, some Bundesliga wins, plenty of Bundesliga wins, should I say, for a 25-year-old. Now we'll go to awards and see how he has done. And this page is full. I, I, I'm going to go through it myself and pick out some good ones for you guys to see because... There's far too many here. I've never seen anything like it. 2021, African Footballer of the Year. Bear in mind, this is competing with the likes of Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, Aubameyang, the likes of them. He's gone and already won that in 2021, where he would have been, what, 16, 17? That's absolutely crazy. European Golden Boy, of course. Let's have a look at the Golden Boy. And pretty much every year that he was capable of winning it, he was winning it. And that is no surprise, really. He was definitely one of the best young players in the world. If we go to best player in Europe, what, what else can I say, guys? Yusuf Mikuku has won it. 
all of these years. Am I wrong in thinking best player in Europe is the equivalent of the Ballon d'Or? I might be wrong, but yeah, it, it looks about right to me. And he has won a hell of a lot of them. He's at least the best player in Europe, put it that way, even if that's not the Ballon d'Or. He has won it for so many seasons in a row. Never really seen anything like this. European Golden Shoe, he's pretty much won that every single year of the one season where Patson Daka won, but then behind him is Makuku with only a few goals less. Consistently named in every single dream team, whether it be Champions League or Bundesliga, he's always in it. Here we go, this is the kind of thing we want to see. World Player of the Year, Yusuf Mukuku, pretty much every year. That must be the Ballon d'Or there, I can only assume. Here we go, here's another award that he's won, World Footballer of the Year, and as you can imagine, he's picked that up pretty much every season too. We've got the Goal 50 Award, I don't know what that is, but he's also winning that. Pretty much any award that's available, he's winning it. I wouldn't be surprised if he's winning the Golden Glove somehow, guys. Next Generation Award, obviously, when he was available to win it, He's pretty much won it every season. World Footballer of the Year, obviously we've looked at that. He's absolutely dominating. World Golden Ball, he's absolutely dominating. World Player of the Year, he's there again. Under 21 Footballer of the Year, he was winning that when he could. And World Team of the Year, as always. Best team in the world, he's still got Makuku up front. And I think that's all that really needs to be said, to be honest, guys. Makuku has done absolutely amazing. And for me, he's up there. He's not just one of the best Wonder Kids ever, but he is probably one of the best players I've ever seen in game. And as I've mentioned, only 25 years old, guys. He is Cristiano Ronaldo, reborn, maybe even better. 327 games played, 390 goals scored, 99 assists, 92 player of matches, and a 7.76 average match rating. And just, I'm absolutely speechless with this guy. I don't, I don't know what more I can say. I think I've run out of words, and I think that's probably a good place to end it. Yusuf Mukuku is finally in Football Manager, and he looks like he could be one of the best Wonder Kids we've ever seen in the game. Let me know what you thought of him down below. Smash the like button if you did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and feel free to check out my channel too in the description if you'd like to. So thank you for watching guys and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.